Hi everyone, let's take a few minutes to dig into the mechanism of the acid catalyzed hydration reaction. In this reaction, the components of water, H and OH, are added to the double bond with the help of an acid catalyst. The product that we isolate in the lab is an alcohol. And this product is produced regioselectively. We preferentially add the alcohol group to the more substituted site, here this is secondary, and the hydrogen is added to the primary site. This is in accordance with Markovnikov's rule, where the hydrogen is added to the less substituted site. As we'll find out, this mechanism will explain the regioselectivity. We will also be able to explain the stereochemistry through this mechanism to understand why a pair of enantiomers were produced in equal amounts. In this reaction mixture, we have three components. We have our alkene, we have water, and we have sulfuric acid. Which of these reagents is the strongest electrophile? If you chose sulfuric acid, you are correct. Protons are electrophilic, and stronger acids are better electrophiles. Since both water and the alkene are nucleophiles here, water has lone pairs, and the alkene has the electron-rich pi bond, there are two different ways that you could see representing this first step of our mechanism. One way to start this reaction mechanism is to protonate with the sulfuric acid itself. Sulfuric acid is sufficiently strong, pKa of about negative three, to be protonating a nucleophilic pi bond. And this would lead us to a carbocation, of which we have two choices. We could form a secondary carbocation or a primary carbocation. The hydrogen had added to the primary site of the alkene, or it could add to the secondary site of the alkene. Alternatively, we could show hydronium ion as the source of protons. Because sulfuric acid is a strong acid, in the presence of water, we'll dissociate and form hydronium ion and the conjugate base, base HSO4 minus. In some other contexts, you could see H plus be used as a shorthand. I like to use hydronium ion, so I'm going to show you that here as well. Hydronium ion has a pKa of negative 1.7 and will protonate an alkene in an exact manner to what sulfuric acid showed. So the end result is the same regardless of which specific acid we choose here. Because alkyl groups stabilize carbocations by inducto effects, we know that the more substituted carbocation is more stable. This secondary cation is more stable than the primary carbocation. And as such, this cation will form faster and lead us to our major product. We are going to ignore the formation of this less stable primary carbocation because it's not formed in appreciable amounts. Now what needs to happen next to get to our alcohol product? Are we going to have a proton transfer from our carbocation? Are we going to have a nucleophile attacker carbocation, or are we going to lose a leaving group? Remember that we're on our way to making an alcohol, so we would want to attack with a nucleophile. The nucleophile that's in solution is water. Of course, proton transfers are certainly happening. This first step is reversible to deprotonate and go back to where we came from. But that doesn't get us to our product. What will happen is water, the solvent, is present in a large excess. So there's plenty of water around to intercept this carbocation. This product is going to be cationic because the oxygen has three bonds. This nucleophilic attack step is where the stereochemistry is set. Because carbocations are planar, this water molecule could come from behind or from the front of that carbocation to yield the two stereoisomers that we saw produced. This oxonium intermediate needs to be neutralized to get to our neutral organic product. So water again plays a role in this step. There is plenty of water around to take care of things like this. So we deprotonate this alcohol to get to our neutral product. This carbocation intermediate explains both the regio and stereochemical outcomes of this reaction. In terms of regioselectivity, we're forming a lower energy intermediate here, which leads us to our major product. 
This is in accordance with Markovnikov's rule. He observed that the hydrogen added to the less substituted side and the nucleophile added to the more substituted side. We now know that this is based solely on carbocation stability. Second, carbocations are planar. Nucleophilic attack from the front or the back leads to an equal mixture of stereoisomers. Thanks for watching.